In this video, I will show you how to save the data in a nodes programmatically in a Drupal. So before watching this video, please refer these videos as well, like how to create the content type. Next is the call REST API using GET method and the call REST API using the POST method. Because we are taking the reference of these videos and in this video we have seen how to fetch the data from the third party website using the API and uh, that data was visible like this. Now I will push this data into my content type and will create the nodes. I will also add the links of these videos in the description. So you can see we are getting the data from that API like this ID, name, email, gender, status. And now I want to push that or save this data into the content type. For that I have already created one content type go to the structure content types here is the employee data content type and I will show you the fields which I have created so these are the fields I have created the similar structure like the data which is we are getting from this API these are the fields ID name email gender and status from this API right now we are getting the data of user whose ID is 198 and uh, this was the code for that watch the video uh, call rest api using the post meter you can see how i have created this function now i want to save this data of all users for that we will we will require this user id as a random so first i will create one function copy this create the new function and the function name will be save api data you can see here the user id is a static value now we want to make it as a dynamic for that i will create one random variable equal to rand 10 now it will generate the any number random number between the 10 and 1000 and copy this variable and place it here now we will create the routing to access this function for that go to the hello world dot routing file and uh, copy this change the name to the save api data save api data when we hit this url that method will get called so our method name is save api data replace that rest api method name with this now clear the cache cache is cleared now now go to the routing and copy this path and uh, open this path now we are getting the this 352 user id details uh, again i will refresh 614 now it is now we are getting the random data so next step is now we will save this data into our content type for that <coughs> first include the one class node entity class drupal node entity node now go to the function and write the code to save the data into the node so first we will write one condition if we are getting the empty data in that case we don't want to save the data into the content type or we don't want to create the node so we will check if uh, that array is not empty data not empty X is the user now we will create the variables and we will store the values of uh, all data which are we are getting first parameter is the id we will get the id parameter value now i have created the five variables 
and uh, second is the name third is the email fourth is the gender and last one is the status now we got the all variables value the next step is save this data into the content type and create the nodes for that create one more variable node and uh, call the object node object and the method create first we need to mention the content type name in which content type name we need to push that data node and create the node so first parameter is the type and type we need to add the content type name our content type name is the employee data next is the title that is the mandatory field so we need to pass any something into that now we will pass the name now pass the value of id in a field id variable name is id next is the name dollar name after that pass the value in a email field all the email gender field underscore gender and last is field underscore status one brace we miss here now to save this data into the node we need to call the save method node and the save method name now go to the page and see if it is we are able to save the data into the content type or not so right now the you can see the name of that uh, user is rep king chain we'll refresh here if data, that data is inserted or not we can see here so the data for for that user is inserted and the, this is the node created so i will edit this node i will show you the data these are the details inserted into the node so one field is not uh, we are not able to capture the one field we will check why i think we missed something here we missed the spelling it's a gender save it and uh, now again refresh this page so we will see that uh, this user is uh, created or not again refresh this page You can see that this user is created now we will check uh, if the gender field is captured or not so we are getting the data for the gender as well so in this way we can create the multiple nodes just refresh this page it will create the these multiple nodes so let's go back refresh this here you can see that we are now able to create the nodes programmatically in a drupal now this is the code to create the node i will push this data on my github repository so you can refer that code so i will add that uh, i will push this data into the this repository i will add this link in that video description i hope this video is useful for you please subscribe the channel and like the video thank you